I hope you're all doing well. Today's video was highly requested. I recently uploaded my no buy list for 2024 video. I'll link it above in case you've missed it. And in that video, I mentioned that I've sold quite a few bags last year. So I asked you if you would be interested to hear which bags I've sold and why. And many of you said yes. So before I start, I just want to mention that it might seem that I'm only selling Chanel bags, but the truth is, that's all I buy. <laughs> I shop mostly from Chanel and most of my bags, if you've watched my bag collection videos, most of my bags are from Chanel and that's why I sell some of them, some of the ones that don't work for me. So yeah, in that video it might seem that I'm selling a lot of Chanel, but that's the reason. So let's start with my Chanel Jumbo. This bag I've been thinking about selling for the longest time. It was one of my most used bags back in the day. It was actually my very first Chanel bag. And for that reason, I held on to that bag for such a long time, although after I started building up my collection, that bag wasn't being used at all. It was way too heavy. Yes, I did use it back in the day when I bought it, because that was my very first Chanel bag. It was such a dream, and of course, I did wear it a ton. But I'm not gonna lie, and I think many of you do know that about the Chanel Jumbo, it is a very heavy bag. And then the trend kind of died as well. I started buying smaller handbags that I found a bit more practical, and and better for like day-to-day -day use and wear. I decided it was finally time and what pushed me to finally do it <laughs> was getting my bag in 25. It was another holy grail dream bag for me and I knew I was gonna wear it more so I decided to finally sell the jumbo and put the money towards the bag in. Um, so I think I made the right decision. I just wasn't using the jumbo. It was collecting dust on the shelves for years and years. The next bag I sold, I really miss to be honest, and it is the printed Chanel. You know, it was a seasonal bag from 22p, which was one of my favorite collections. I really did like the print of the bag, and it was such an easy bag to wear. It was big, it was a single flap, it was soft. It fit so much. It was just an easy grab and go bag. I truly enjoyed wearing that bag and I miss it so, so much. However, the reason I sold it, that's the only reason I sold the bag was because I was so tired of looking at that print. And that's exactly what I spoke about in my no buy list for this year. I told you guys I will avoid buying printed bags just because I find that after some time I get bored of looking at the same prints. I really really wish that bag was just plain denim without any print. I would have kept it forever. I would have never sold that bag because it was just easy. It was a equivalent to a medium classic flap but I could crossbody it. It sat perfectly crossbody. It was the perfect length. I could also double chain it, wear it on my shoulder very very comfortably. The bag was soft, I didn't have to think about the weather conditions, if it was raining, because I did wear it in the rain, nothing happened, the bag got completely soaked and nothing happened to it. So it was very durable, it was such a perfect size, but it was just the print that annoyed me after some time. It was very easy to style because of the colours. I have no complaint about that, it was just the print, I got tired of seeing that print. And that's the reason I actually sold my jeans as well, I kind of regret selling the jeans. I still have the matching hat though. <laughs> Next is one of the prettiest bags I have ever owned, and many of you actually loved that bag when I unboxed it. It sold instantly, it sold so quick after I listed it on my closet account. My closet account, by the way, will be listed down below, I recently posted some new items if you want to check them out. That's where I'm selling all my stuff, if you were curious. But yeah, that bag sold instantly. It was this very, very cute tweed square, I would say. It wasn't exactly the same size as a like classic square mini, but it was a square Chanel bag, seasonal bag in tweed. The prettiest pink tweed. It had the cutest little charms. However, they did annoy me and I did mention that in another video. So that's one of the reasons I sold that bag. First, it was, 
Actually, the the main reason I sold that bag, let me start with that because I think that's the, that's the that's the most important one, was that the bag was way too pretty and way too girly for me, and I never reached for it. I wore it only once with a very girly outfit. So yeah, that was the main reason I decided to let that one go, just because it was maybe not my style, you know? And also the chain I found quite long, but another thing that actually annoyed me about that bag was those charms that initially I really adored and loved. I loved that touch, that detail. But once you crossbody the bag and start wearing it, like the charms move in the back and you can't even see them. So I was like, what's the point? You know, sometimes I buy things or I keep things just because they're pretty, but I don't actually wear them enough. So, um, and maybe they're not really my style. So yeah, now I'm trying to be very careful and not buy something just because it's very, very cute and I can't resist how cute it is, you know? <laughs> Next we have the Micro Lady Dior. I love that bag. I actually still want to get another one. The reason I sold it was first the colour. I didn't reach for the blue colour at all. I, think, I, I have worn it a couple of times but again as I mentioned in my no buy list video for this year I will try to... I uh, not try. I know I won't be buying any blue bags at all. <laughs> I don't wear them. I don't wear baby blues. I don't wear blue pastels or like mid-tone like royal blue colors. The only blues I wear are very deep like navy blues. Here is an example. That bag was sitting right next to me because I filmed another video before this one. But yeah, that's a good example. This is the only blue I reach for, I don't I don't reach for pastel blues. I'm not gonna lie, that bag is so impractical. Like, if you want a micro bag that's practical, go for the micro D-Joy instead, because it does fit an iPhone. The micro Lady Duo does not fit a phone at all. Um, you can't even fit your card holder, bear that in mind. It's so, so tiny, teeny tiny. But the D-Joy, because it's longer, it definitely, it is definitely a bit more practical. But then another thing that bothers me even more about that bag that really, really annoys me is how short the crossbody strap is. Considering they made it adjustable, why didn't they just add a bit more leather <laughs> and consider the taller clients. After everything I just told you about this bag, would I ever consider getting another one? The answer is yes. <laughs> Do I regret selling my powdery blue one? No, I don't regret it. I just see it as a collector's piece. I love the shape. I love how teeny tiny it is, but it's still like, it, it is like, I love the Lady Dior, you guys know. I love the Lady Dior. It's such a classic, timeless, iconic style. And I really want to get that teeny tiny baby because it looks cute. And I know I just said before that that I shouldn't buy things just because they're like cute. But at the same time, if I maybe buy it in a different color, I would reach for it more. Next we have this YSL pouch. I fell in love with this bag and the color, especially the color when I saw it at Bista Village. I bought it from Bista Village beginning of, actually on the 1st of January last year, we went shopping um, at Bista Village and I saw this color and I was like, oh, I need it, it's so perfect. However, I didn't really use the bag as much. Um, I don't know if it was the color or maybe because it didn't have a chain, although when I unboxed the bag, I showed you that I had a strap that I could easily add. The thing was though, that chain, because there was no way to like actually clip it on the bag. Every time I opened the bag, <laughs> you know, the, the chain slipped, so it wasn't very secure. So yeah, eventually I ended up selling the pouch. I could have worn it as a pouch as well, but I do like pouches that have a handle. It doesn't have to be a top handle, but you know, even if it was like a, um, like a wristlet that would have been a bit more convenient to carry because sometimes I like to be hands-free. The next one will really really shock you I think because you guys may remember I mentioned that I wanted to collect all the colors. <laughs> Do you know which one I'm talking about? I'm talking about the Chanel hearts. 
So, I know, a shocker. I sold the baby blue heart. Uh, that one was a gift and it was painful selling it, but baby blue. I didn't reach for it at all. I think I've worn it only once. Yeah, I did wear it once in Paris for a couple of hours just to take some photos. And I think that was it. Yeah, again, it was just the color. I would still love to get more hearts. I would really want to get the white one or the gold one. Um, but I don't know, I'm not like in a rush to collect them. I think I would eventually get more of them, but I'm not in a rush, you know, so it will happen someday. I do feel sad because it was such a cute display, like I'll insert a picture. It was just making my bag display so beautiful um, and I loved looking at that colour. It was such a beautiful baby blue colour. However, I told you guys many times I feel sad when I don't use my bags, so... I let it go. Unfortunately, that bag is gone. It really breaks my heart though, trust me. That's why I'm dressed in black. I'm warning some of the bags. <laughs> Talking about baby blue, many of you have noticed that my perfect baby blue bag is missing. It's gone, unfortunately. I was searching for the perfect baby blue mini rectangle. And then one day my Chanel fairy messaged me that she has a baby blue bag she thinks I might like. I went to see it, I bought it instantly, I didn't even think twice. I was like, yes, I finally found the most perfect shade of blue. It was from the same collection as the hard bag. I did compare the two colors. They were slightly different, very similar, but slightly different. I did actually prefer the baby blue on the mini rectangle. It was perfection. Also another thing I loved about that bag was the leather because yes the leather can vary from collection to collection so it's not the same. I have a few mini rectangles and they all feel different. The leather feels different on each one of them. If you also have a few different mini rectangles from like different seasons, different years, I think you would be able to notice that as well. But that particular baby blue bag was so delicious. It had the most delicious, beautiful leather. It was so puffy, so soft, buttery smooth. It was uh, chef's kiss, guys. It was chef's kiss. It was really, really hard to let it go, but that bag, I think I never wore. Maybe, again, maybe I've worn it once for like one or two hours, um, and it still had the stickers. I didn't even take off the stickers. So I guess that was a massive sign, right? Deep down, I was maybe thinking that I wouldn't keep that bag and it wouldn't stay with me in the long run. So maybe that's why I left the stickers and I never took them off. The Louis Vuitton Pastel On The Go. Unfortunately, that one had to go because as much as I loved it, again, it was super cute, delicious colors, candy colors, beautiful, that's why I bought it, but it wasn't my style, it was, I found it quite hard to style, plus every time I wore it, I felt like a child. I think the colors, the monogram, if it was like in a more compact, like mini size, I could actually imagine a kid wearing that bag. Yeah, it did feel a bit childish, also the strap, it was a beautiful color. I loved the color of the strap, by the way. It was this beautiful minty green, but it had the additional pouch and then the strap was fabric. It didn't feel like a serious, like grown-up bag, you know, so that's the reason I decided to let that one go. Although I must say the size was so good for every day because I do have the larger size, which I mainly use for traveling or like work. The pastel on the go was such a perfect size for every day. It was such a great everyday bag. I did really enjoy the size. A bag I didn't really think I would let go that soon. I thought I would really keep that bag for at least a couple of more years was the Prada Crystal Re-Edition. I did wear that bag a lot and I did enjoy it. When I bought this bag, I reached for, for it so often. And I didn't only wear it in the evenings, I wore it during the day. Although it was fully crystallized, it was very sparkly, it definitely attracted a lot of attention. But every time I wore that bag, people complimented it. It, it was actually my most complimented bag, believe it or not. I have so many beautiful bags from Chanel and Dior. And the Prada Crystal bag, 
was my most complimented bag ever period i think the reason i sold it was because after i bought my mini lady dior in the black satin with the silver crystals i just reached for the lady dior every single time yes the lady dior is a bit more dressier but I still, even during the day, I still reached for the Lady Dior every time I chose the Lady Dior over the Prada, so I knew it was time to sell the Prada. Plus, I think my timing was good because I think if I waited a couple of more years, the trend would have died even more and then it would have been really, really difficult for me to sell the bag and I really had to like put it for sale for a very low price in order for it to sell so I think yeah that would have made it harder if I waited so I think the timing was right <laughs> I can't remember if I've sold my mini boat chapeau last year I think it was the year before but I'll quickly mention it I actually think the main reason I sold it was I was just bored of the monogram I do have a few monogram bags and um, vanities and I think I'm I'm over the monogram so I still love Louis Vuitton monogram but when you have one two three monogram pieces like how many more do you need to have in your collection I mean it's the same <laughs> next is my blue trendy my beautiful jewel color trendy I loved that color but again blue I didn't wear it enough. I only wore it when I was wearing all black. I was also trying really really hard to reach for that bag and when you come to that moment when you really have to push yourself to wear a bag when you actually want to wear another bag instead, I think that's a sign that you should let it go. I was putting it off for quite some time because I really loved the fact that I had two beautiful trendies in those jewel colors and I just didn't want to take one of them apart that probably sounds ridiculous I do realize that but that's the truth <laughs> I, I was like oh no I want to have I want to keep both of them just because they look cute together and they're like sisters you know um, <laughs> I know <laughs> you'll probably think I'm, I'm losing it again another bag that I I think I sold maybe the year before was the mini vanity um, so I'm, I'm basically speaking about all bags now that I've sold <laughs> at least the ones I remember selling but it was the little cupcake vanity I loved it so much I loved that color but again I found it a bit too girly and I was only wearing the white one the pink one was just staying on the shelf and yeah I did feel bad because I was using her sister <laughs> so much so much more um, and I do really like that style. I don't regret selling the pink one. It wasn't my color. I think I've spoken about the peekaboo before and why I decided to sell mine. I do really miss it. I'm not gonna lie. It was a perfect color. But now that I have the Birkin in a tube, actually, they were very, very similar. I did wear my peekaboo a lot. It's the perfect neutral. So if you are actually looking for a good like dupe of the Birkin tube, the peekaboo dove color it's a classic color that's the one to go for it's so wearable it goes with everything the reason i sold my peekaboo is first because it was that is the classic peekaboo shape the one i had but i do prefer the like newer peekaboos that they released in the recent years that are a bit more structured i think they're called the peekaboo icu they're very structured and I prefer that look. Also, another reason I sold mine was the hardware. I really want a peekaboo with yellow gold hardware and I know I will, sooner or later, I will get another peekaboo. Again, I'm not in a rush, but I would love to get a peekaboo, iconic peekaboo back in my collection because I really enjoyed that bag. And last, probably my biggest regret, but again, it wasn't a color that I reached for a lot, uh, but a regret because of the current prices of Chanel and I shouldn't sell any of my classic flaps. I'm talking about the medium classic flap in Beige Claire. That bag I've searched for so many years because that combo I had, caviar skin, with yellow gold hardware in the beige clair is extremely extremely difficult to get hold of very very rare they don't produce that many 
and I was actually looking for that bag for many years and I remember buying it for four and a half thousand pounds and you know what happened? I sold it, like I... No one was talking about any upcoming price increase, okay? I sold it, the day after I sold the bag, Chanel had a price increase. Nobody knew about this price increase, it was such a surprise. I don't know, that colour is very iconic and I still wish I had it because I love collecting Chanel and because I love the brand so much, I think I should have kept it just for that reason. But yet, at the same time, I think it, that exact shade of beige was not for me. It washed me out, it wasn't, like, it didn't look good against my skin tone and I never really reached for it. Um, so, yeah, mine was literally brand new. <laughs> I, I think I, I wore it only two or three times and I sold it, like, brand new. And it was a size that I don't have anymore, a medium classic flap. I only have smalls now in my collection, so it would have been nice to have a medium still, but... Oh well, maybe one of my biggest regrets, um, I think I should have kept that bag, although I wasn't using it. <laughs> Alright guys, that's all. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. Let me know your thoughts, do you think I made a mistake, which one I should have kept. So yeah, thank you so, so much for watching and I hope I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye!